good vibes. It really, really needed during this video because I think I lost like a lot of self-respect writing the script and looking for the clips. I don't think I know I did. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm sorry that this is your first impression. I need to invest in a screen protector and what are those things called? In a, in a phone case. Raw dogging it. Um, okay. And on TikTok are the real pick me's. I know we see all these. I didn't actually think anything was going to come out. And on TikTok are the real pick me's. I said it. The male manipulators of TikTok. So I sat myself down this morning and thought, let me do a little debrief. Let me express how I feel about these men. I should have stayed curious. Going right into it, there's this guy, I think his name is Montaigne. And basically every video he makes, and maybe I've interpreted this wrong, I think it's about us wanting to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men. Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they do? Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, hey, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, would you like to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, hey, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they Oh, hey, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men? Oh, would you like to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men? Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men? It's the hand on the table for me. It's the whole arm. It's giving that one JoJo Siwa video. One heaven phone call. This is a random heaven phone call. Okay. Do you want to see your tattoos? Do you want to see that you work out? He thinks we're gonna watch these TikToks and be like, "Wow, he's so different." There's good guys out there. No. This is wolf in sheep's clothing at its finest. He's doing us a solid. He's breaking bro code to tell us what us women want to hear i don't know it just kind of feels like a little secretive like i'm not supposed to be knowing this stuff and you guys are probably like chantal just give him a chance maybe people want us to know this information do not tell anybody that i told you do not tell anybody that i told you it was really nice of you to take me on this date yeah no probs no problem Okay, like, I know that you're actually insecure, like, that's just like the guy default, right? Like, just all of you guys are insecure. Who told you? Do not tell anybody that I told you. See, that's how I imagine that. Like, is he signed to an NDA? In this TikTok, he's getting ready while he's filming, and I really don't understand it, because it's not one of those get ready with me videos where someone's like doing their makeup and like telling you a story time and like multitasking. His fly is down and his shirt is off for like half the time. Like you're not do- Do not fool yourself for a single second if you are ever talking to a guy and you're friends with his friends. That is cool and that lasts only as long as you two are together. Do not think they are ever, ever going to side with you on anything because they are absolutely never going to. I'm going with these black jeans, dress jeans from Wrangler. We will put the belt on in a second. Do not worry. And this, is kind of just this is a thirst trap. I know what you're trying to do and it's not working. On me, at least. <laughs> the thing with these types of TikTokers is these guys think that they're, like, relatable to the women and that they speak for all men. Like, get a load of this guy. I'm different, though. But I'm gonna be honest with you. This guy is probably just taking his personal experiences and putting it in a TikTok, and for that, I'm kind of concerned. Just a secret about men that they don't want you to know. You don't text them back within two minutes and they'll find your IP address. We're stalkers. We're insane. How do I know that? There are only two kinds of men in the entire world. There are men who, when they get in a fight, need to solve it in the moment, immediately, nothing else matters. The second type of man is the type when you get in a fight with them, all they need is their time and space for them to process, and then they will get back to you. Now here's the major key that you need to know. If you are type number one, and you choose to pursue a man who is type number two, don't be surprised when problems pop up. Same thing if you are type number two and choose a guy who's type number one. Don't be surprised. When you're choosing a man, if you don't want to fight, make sure you have the same conflict style because you're not going to change it. Okay, first of all, where are we? If you want kids, don't settle for a guy that doesn't want kids because that contradiction is only gonna cause problems like oh i've never thought of that before you know let's see what the comments have to say about this oh um don't trust any man with your life 
Is that like in the middle of his hallway in like the apartment he lives in? The way it's like echoing too. Imagine like someone just like came back from like a date, like they're going home and they hear you and think it's their subconscious. Wow, that was a really awesome day. I think I'll text that dude again. It really worked out. Oh, do you want to hear another absolutely disgusting secret about men that they definitely do not want to hear? The real secret about men is that unlike women, we are trusting way earlier on. This is one of our biggest faults. Like most of the time, the times we get hurt are because we trusted someone way too early. Early. Yeah, this is male manipulator activity. I'm a man telling you why men suck. Did you know that that men are actually the soft ones? We get attached too early on and too easily. Oh, it's a shame I have to tell you this. It's like one of our biggest flaws that we get attached and that we're loyal and that we're amazing and beautiful and kind. You know what him saying that is like giving? Hey. I'm surprised you even agree to hang out. Why? Girls just usually don't agree to hang out with guys like me. What do you mean guys like you? Well, outstanding, loyal, genuine, funny, talented, <laughs> and No hate to this TikTok that I just showed. Obviously that one was a skit, but like that's, that's what it reminded me of. Like people are making jokes about you. Like me right now. The cherry on top, just to, this is the Cudde board guy. And I, I know, know the hate comments only had the Cudde board. I mean, he's not, like, totally wrong. I need content, and it's the summer. But I'm bored, because I'm- I am bored. Yeah. Anyways, on to the next one. We got Alex Galarno. I want nothing to do with love, but I want to be with somebody for the rest of my life. I want nothing to do with love, but I want to wrap a blanket around you every time I see you're cold. I want nothing to do with- And you know what I want? For you to make up your mind. Why is he acting so clueless? For the good ones, guys. He's trying to show us that he could be a good guy friend without- Wanting anything out of you. None of that love stuff. I just want to give you a blanket when you're cold. Yeah, I wouldn't assume that that was love. I remember this one time in my history class when my friends were cold and she didn't have a jacket, but my other friend had a jacket. So she was like, hey, you can wear my jacket. You could wear my sweat. And she was like, you could wear my jacket if you're so cold. I'm not using mine right now. And uh, yeah, my friend wore my other friend's jacket. They're friends right now and they don't like each other. It's just men. Like, He's taking such a simple scenario and then making it complex to paint himself out to be like this soft boy. Like he takes the bare minimum of a gesture and then makes it look like his deep thoughts. Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I shop for new clothes for you? I have been told that this is weird. His videos are like kind of intimate. Like... Hey guys, is it like weird that I'm like in love with Ryan Ross and my panic at the disco shrine is actually right behind me as I'm filming this? No, people call me weird. Anyways. Mm. Like what it sounds like to me? Yeah, so I actually ran a red light and in doing so, I hit someone trying to cross the street. And you know, I called the ambulance so that they wouldn't die, but I'm not in love with them or anything. I hope they don't think I'm in love with them. None of that love stuff. That's what you're supposed to do. And hey, maybe I took giving someone a blanket when they're cold into a car accident. Maybe the scenarios were a stretch, but the concept is literally the same exact thing. You should have known from then that you never truly loved me. Cause I knew you'd leave me. He does this thing at the end of his videos where he kind of just like stares, whether it's at the camera still or like off to the side so that we can really see that he's collecting his thoughts mm -hmm. it doesn't help that his eyes are blue either mm -hmm. my concern is the caption of his tiktok dream things you're telling me you record these live and there's like a chat there's a chat too like i'll bet right now that there are no girls in that chat what ladies are you referring to ladies where you know men have it so easy and men suck generally but an example of that is a girl could post a tiktok of herself with a fabulous outfit and the comments will compliment her casually like hey love your outfit the song you chose is awesome but if a man made a tiktok with a casual outfit because men think they're like fashionistas and all they're wearing is a button up and a tie and jean shorts and that's revolutionary because we're not used to seeing men actually try and that's the thing i'll post a video like that and the comment section will eat it up I'll be like huh 
Oh my god. Where are the men like this at my school? Where where'd you guys go? What happened to you? Oh, where where can I find a man like this? I hope you never find a man like that because male manipulators. And this wasn't a random example. This actually ties into Alex's videos because men aren't expected to have opinions like this where they just want to be nice to their partner type of thing. So that's why all these girls in the comment sections are like freaking out. No hate to the girls in the comment section solely because they are girls. I don't dislike you guys. I don't hate you guys at all. My concern is the caption of his TikToks and that makes his type of content unique but it's like i do see a lot of men make videos like this i'm not feeding into him being different again it's one of those things where it's like oh men aren't expected to do the bare minimum and then they say the bare minimum and people freak out it's brutal honestly if they wanted to they would that doesn't seem brutal to me and in fact that's not even original thought i've seen a lot of like tiktoks captioned if they could they would and it's basically videos of someone's partner doing something good for them if they could they would and it's like my boyfriend bought me roses i've never seen that before if you be giving me those half-ass hugs i'm sorry i'm gonna half-ass the relationship whose side are you on i get it it would suck if i was dating someone and i hugged them and they didn't hug me back but damn and it's like coming from him like where did the switch up happen you know what i'm sick and tired of not being somebody's person i'm gonna half-ass the relationship i want nothing to do with love you know what i'm sick and tired of not being somebody's person i want nothing to do with love i'm gonna half-ass the relationship he talks about his ideal relationships how good of a boyfriend he would be or husband if it even goes that far if it does there's someone for everyone and I, honestly that would probably give me hope it's some brutal honesty if they wanted to they would he stares off into the distance like this was some revolutionary quote he wrote this out of his book called El manipulator bible 101 he refers to girls as ladies like he's trying to be respectful like he's like a gentleman but to me it's getting to the point where it's the equivalent to referring to girls as females if you think about it you only have one birthday the rest are congratulations for surviving you know I am surviving, this is true. I don't always want to be, but I am surviving. Why can't we just be happy? Why can't you just take a joke? Like, what a way to kill the mood. How do I make this about me? I get it's your live stream and it is your TikTok page. Do you ever try to make like a joke and then there's like that one kid who wants to make you feel bad about it? Um, I actually have an example of this actually. I was at a friend's birthday party um, and something about me is I'm like really sarcastic. Like I'll state the obvious, I love literal memes. And this one kid there, they're sitting down and they brought up like how they didn't want to sit down anymore. And I was like, so like, just stand up. And I was being like stupid with like my literal, like with my sarcasm and it's just stating the obvious. But like at the same time, it's like you, you could stand up. They actually couldn't. And I was like, I'm sorry you can't walk. Uh, I'm sorry you can't stand up for long periods of time. If you're watching this, uh, sorry I wasn't trying to be mean. Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that when I can't get my emotions out the way that I want to, I write it into a poem? Speaking of his poems, All I want is for me to be happy, but at the end of the day, I'm always left feeling crappy. Yeah, that's enough. How is it that he's the perfect guy? and that he understands women, I mean ladies, and at the end of the day, you're single. I see this trend, uh, not trend, but like trend, statistically. Like with TikTokers like this, making videos about how good of a boyfriend they would make, and they're never in a relationship, so it's like, ironic. The irony is ironing right now. And because of him, I like kind of stopped complaining about things. I would post on my Instagram story, like not like super serious like him, but it would be like, I is like, uh, uh, nobody wants me. Um, yeah, I'm never gonna post anything like that ever again because I'm actually terrified of sounding like him. And maybe it's the videos that they're making is doing the opposite of what they think they're doing. Because imagine they're like on a date with a girl and then all of a sudden he goes, I'm gonna half-ass the relationship. I see a bunch of other still similar TikToks as well, where guys like mention how differently they were raised, their mindset is not like the other guys. This guy, Garrett Nolan, was the most painful one of these three. 
to like sit through to find clips for this video. But to physically watch and scroll. You guys better like, comment, subscribe, do all of that if you made it this far because I think like I lost years off of my life just, just from this one guy. Like not even the other two. Like forget about them. I don't even know if I can make commentary on this dude. I'm just gonna be like standing here in disbelief. Softly simple for you to fall out of love. It's simply off for me to fall out of love. Sorry, Amanda. I don't know what you're trying to say. Can I say it? Say what? You know. I love you? Did he AI generate a woman's voice? This is a different type of level. Does every woman, I mean lady, have a restraining order on you? I'm about to have one. And fun fact, I was going to make a separate video about book talk, but book talk is like 10 times more nauseating than this man um and he is already tied in with book talk like i've seen his comment section Ugh. so yeah i don't see that book talk video coming anytime soon because if i can't watch this guy i don't know how i'm gonna do book talk <laughs> are we silencing women if you teared up watching this you have no self-respect because what are we doing Nostril speaking to me. I'm editing this video right now, and like, I think I like forgot to download some clips for the video, and so I had to go back to his TikTok account, and I'm just finding more TikToks, like worse. What are you doing? <laughs> this is actually so bad. It it's so uncomfortable. Like like I I kind of feel bad about how bad I'm talking about him right now. But <laughs> the comments are eating it up. Like, the book talk is here. Get away from me. Book talk, get away from me, please. I can't take this anymore. Also, I'm not here for him. I'm not tweaking because I like his videos. I'm tweaking because it... <sighs> Genuinely, it's so... It's so bad. Oh my god. Okay. I have to get back to editing. It's 2.50 a.m. Yeah, I have to cut this video right here because I don't think I can watch his TikToks anymore. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, actually, this might be the one time I hope you guys didn't enjoy my video because are you okay? No, I'm kidding. Um, so if you enjoyed the me parts, no, I'm kidding. Um, have an awesome, fantastic, whatever time it is for you right now, and I'm gonna hit stop recording and then edit this and have this up soon. You guys are awesome. Good vibes. That candle is still on and I have another candle over here. Um, do you guys like the setup? And comment other comment if you like my commentary videos. Uh this is very inspired by like Drew Gooden, Curtis Connor, Danny Gonzalez, the Holy Trinity. If that offended you, sorry. Um and yeah, it's been super awesome. Bye. Bye.